Hi, how are you tonight? Baruch Hashem, how are you? Fine, fine. Um, can I ask you a question? A couple of questions, actually. Sure. What okay. is it, Kansas? Did you, uh, did you uh, ever hear of um, Liebe Schmelzer, the yes. Hasidic singer? Yes, I did. Do you know anything about his new CD that just came out? I have heard of it from people, yes. Mm -hmm. Did you buy it? I didn't buy it. My name is Liebe Schmelzer, in case you don't know. You didn't see, my, you didn't see the picture on the CD cover? Why, are you, what? Are you interviewing people here? Yes. About my CD? Yes. And why did they like it? Well, 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 we'll find out, okay? We're not giving that information out. Are you saying that you're, that you're Liebe you Schmelzer? You can interview me too. Really? Yeah. Uh, that's the reason I stopped you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you're Liebe Schmelzer, the yeah. singer? The one we're talking about? I think so. This is what they say. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Okay, so can we have then, I, I guess we will have to have some kind of more of a, uh, more of uh, up-to-date uh, kind of an interview. Okay, what's up to date? You have an office? Okay. Yes, we'll, we'll go, we'll find a nice place. Uh, we'll have dinner and uh, we'll make a nice interview. Is that okay? No problem. Great, thank you so much. Let's go. Nice meeting you. Rublip, I'm sorry for interrupting you. your, your order. Um, it's going to take a few minutes till they're prepared. Can we do the interview now? Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, okay, so hi, Lipa. Hi, how are you? I see you're reading the Vach, right? Um, this is basically what I'm taking the interviews for. It's called Interviews for the Vach. So you just identify yourself to me that you are Lipa Schmelzer. So what do you have to say about the new CD? Um, I'll tell you, that we, um, <laughs> I didn't prepare for this, but... Uh, what can I tell you that people don't know yet? I'll tell you one thing, that people, what I see more and more, that people are listening to a CD um, with a phone in the hand and the GPS in the other hand and talking to everybody and they want to judge the CD right away when it's coming out. And I think that people need to book Shem selling like crazy, so I'm not here to, uh, I don't have to convince anybody, I think people, the, the Mavina know, but I want to try to convince people that, especially people that are not in the music business, just regular Am they should take either headphones or just take a little bit off from their phone and from Twitter lighters or whatever, anything else and listen to the music and enjoy it like we used to listen when we were young children with no phones and everything and then you can really know what the song means and how to enjoy it. It's like when a lot of times I meet people on the street and they tell me that CD from you I like the most, that CD and I see it has to do, I always ask them how old were you when you had that CD? So basically it's teenage years, because when you're in dormitory, in yeshiva, and you have time to listen to it, no daggers, no mortgage, you listen to every knaich, and that's why I like it. Then afterwards you wait very hard, and you hit it in the car, the kid is screaming, the phone comes in, calculating, wow, the GPS, you can't listen, you have to give a chance. Because I see all kinds of comments, I'm so glad I put 16 songs, because everybody picks something else, but I see all kinds of comments, people tell me, I like this song, but who said I made it to Luchzinger by Hasana? It's made to listen, listening pleasure, and then three, four songs going into Hasana, it's, it's a plus for me. From any album that came out in the last two years, one or two songs stays for Hasanas, and the rest is history. But me, the few songs that goes for Hasanas is rocking away, and the rest is listening pleasure. It's beautiful art, splash, Memke de Libra, I think it's an amazing song. I'm not here to uh, build myself up myself, like uh, to pump my, my own CD, but you're interviewing me, I'm telling you the truth, what I see. When, when I ask people, some, if they, people tell me about comments about my CD, and I ask them how many times they listen to it, one time, I said, call me back after five, six times. This is what I have to say, and the people who do listen to it five, six times are amazed. Some CDs they listen to me four times, and that's it. By me, by three, four times, you only start to enjoy the CD, and then the whole summer, they drive up to the mountains, back and forth, you hear it's gonna be his plan, hora, hora, yo. It's gonna be everywhere. A woman band, somebody, Shlomi Rosenberg, came over to me, he said, Lipa, you have to hear how I played Michucham, with every clutch, and he gave me the CD in my car. It made me feel so good. The CD's not out a week, and the guy knows every chord, and to play it exactly, it's beautiful. It's great, it's great. I, uh, as I told you before, I went around uh, throughout Bora Parks and interviewed people. Um, I, I don't want to know what people have to say. Don't tell me. I, I want to see it. I won't. Everybody. Hello, I won't. 
I didn't finish my interviews yet, and I won't show it to you, and I don't have the time to show it to you. But there was one thing interesting. Somebody mentioned about a song, Can you do that little piece for me for a second? Oh. I'll tell you why. Oh, I, was, I, 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 ate, I ate lunch today here, did an interview, and uh, somebody came over to me and says, I'm a Malamud, and I hear that you made a song that they make Khoizik of Malamud, of Chabba Ba'ani, is that true? I said, did you buy my CD yet? He says, no. I said, I prefer to answer for customers only, because I have enough customers I have to answer. So he says, I'm going to buy it, I'm going to buy all the albums, but I want to know why I did it. I said, you see, we listen so overflechless to everything I wrote on the cover specifically. It says, Chabba Ba'ani, and still I miss Chayda. My father didn't have the money to buy me the nicest suit. Still, I miss, I miss the child of the years. I couldn't concentrate like everybody else in my class, and I was jealous. Still, I miss Haida. It's such a positive message. A petrol? Very English, I'm going to petrol. So he says, yeah, but how should I put in the song? Even this I put in the song, how should I put in the song? So go now to Eichlitz, you cross the street, and buy the CD, and listen how positive the message is. You understand? It's beautiful. I'm very glad you just said this, because this guy told me, I don't want to buy the CD, because it's going to remind me of my Haida days, and I'll be depressed. By the way, so I, I love this message. People come over to me, and they told me, and one guy said, call Yossi Green and tell him, tell him as well, he's going to like it. He says to me, the first two times I heard it, I know it's like a more of a comical, interesting song, I cried. And after two times, it starts to get to me, and I can laugh and enjoy the song. Thank you so much for your time. I'm sure you have a busy schedule. I'm sure I'm going to get a kick out of this interview, because I made tons of clips for this CD, and I'm, for me it's over enough. Now I'm moving on, going to the next step. But when I see somebody else takes the time and does an interview, although people might think it's a setup, it's not a setup. I just bumped into this room thing out here and take an interview. <laughs> I went to Dav Mar, he stopped me. Anyway, maybe the joke is that he didn't know it's me. But uh, besides the point, all the people he interviews, I don't know what's going to be there. I hope they talk good on me. And if not, I accept it. Thank you. I want to judge the CD right away when it's coming out. And I think that people need to book Shem and selling like crazy. So I'm not here to, uh, I don't have to convince anybody. I think people, the, the Mavina know. But I want to try to convince people that, especially people that not music, but just regular Amfid, they should take either headphones or just take a little bit off from their phone and from to a lightness or whatever, anything else. And listen to the music, enjoy it, like we used to listen when we were young children. With no phones and everything. And then you can really know what the song means and how to enjoy it.